May 31st will be the last day for Outlaw S5, which means that we're most likely going to be getting the next Outlaw Pass on June 1st. Hopefully with an update. I talked about that last week, but we're going to discuss my ideas for what I would like to see in Outlaw Pass 6, which should, once again, hopefully be here, along with an update to Reddit Online on June 1st, 2021. Your thoughts, your views, your opinions, what you would like to see in Outlaw Pass 6, welcome below in the comment section. First off, I think that it's obvious Outlaw Pass 6 needs to be way better than Outlaw Ass 5 was. It needs to give players the same feeling and excitement that Outlaw Pass 1 and 2 did. A pass worthy of taking the time for us players to rank up as well as spend our gold bars on and hopefully get most of our gold bars, if not all of our gold bars, back. So what else do we need besides it coming out on June 1st and being worthy of you know, same level as, say, Outlaw Pass 1 and 2. You know, in the top three. That's where I want Outlaw Pass 6 to be. Other things I would like to see in Outlaw Pass 6 that were not in Outlaw Ass 5 was at least one or two new Vanderlyn gang outfits from Red Dead Redemption 2. Dutch's outfit, Trelawney's outfit, Michael Bell's outfit. Well, one of their outfits. Some other members of the gang would be nice, but at least one or two Vanderlyn gang outfits would be good. Uh, new horse masks. A lot of people have been wanting new horse masks. No... Not reskins of previous horse masks. I'm sure Rockstar will do that anyways. But new horse masks would be nice for players, along with some new variations of uh, unique horse manes, horse tails, mustaches for those of you that like the mustaches, and perhaps even variations of the hooded stirrups. That's something a lot of us have been wanting because we don't like the look of the hooded stirrup. We understand its importance. It's the best stirrup you can put on your saddle, but it still looks fugly. It would be nice if we had the ability to have some customization, some uh, options when it came to variants of the hooded stirrup, and maybe they could throw one or a few into future outlaw passes. New buckles. Hopefully we're done with the furry buckles, hopefully, and we can get back to normal Western, you know, Wild West themed buckles as new buckles. New camp flags would be awesome. I think there's a, at least one or two of the fictional states of... Red Dead Redemption that's still out there that we have yet to include, like New Austin, maybe even Nuevo Paraiso so would be nice, and a new outfit for Crips. You know, Crips might want a new outfit, so just throw in a new outfit for him, and perhaps a new unique weapon variant, our weapon variants, because we have a few weapons in the game now. It would be awesome if we had something up to that uh, sweet-looking skin that we got for the Halloween pass for the rolling block. Maybe something for the Carcano, a new you know, skin for the Carcano. I personally like the Carcano. And whatever, a new shotgun skin, a rifle skin, a repeater skin. A new variant would be awesome. Also, uh, speaking of uh, what uh, new camp themes and uh, new outfit for Crips, a uh, new camp theme would be awesome. It's been a very long time since we got a new camp theme. I don't think we got one for Moonshine or Art of the Naturalist role, which was a disappointment. But they can at least give us a new camp theme within Outlaw Pass 6 and perhaps even a new uh, bar decor for the Moonshine Shack bar. That would be good because the previous one we got was really nice. The gothic decor that which came with the uh, Halloween pass. So a new decor for the ba uh, Moonshine bar as well as the new camp theme. That'd be good to include in Outlaw Pass 6 along with some unique Outlaw Pass 6 uh, clothing items and uh, outfits, hats, similar to what we've gotten in uh, previous uh, Outlaw Passes, even if they are a little freaky, a little weird, a uh, unique uh, hats that we've gotten a while back. You know, just a variety is always welcome in Outlaw Passes. Some other items I'd like to see them include, a brand new uh, eye patch, new glasses, a new mask for players, bandana, some weapon wraps, uh, new gauntlets, uh, unique spurs, boots, gloves, ponchos, etc., along with uh, collectibles. I love the collectibles because that's a good way as a collector to make money in the game. And I always love those collector packs that they throw in to the uh, passes. That's always a plus in my opinion, so more of that's good. Emotes, I know people like the emotes. I mean, hooray. Uh, coupons for uh, free offers on things is always a, a good uh, reward along with uh, the ability to obviously earn our gold bars back. And I want to add one more thing I would like to see included in Outlaw Pass 6 and perhaps even future Outlaw Passes. 
an extra, I guess, way to entice players to get an outlaw pass as well as focus on grinding through it uh, from now till the uh, expiration and get it done before it expires to get your gold bars back, to get the Vandalin outfits, get whatever your heart desires that happens to be in these passes. But one item I would really like for them to start doing is adding a unique horse or horse breed to an outlaw pass, a specific variation of a horse breed. Case in point, some horses from Red Dead Redemption 2, like the Brindle Arabian or the Rose Gray Arabian or the Few Spots Appaloosa. Add one of those into Outlaw Pass as one of the top tier prizes you can get by completing Outlaw Pass 6. That way players would you know, have something to focus on. Oh boy, the Brindle Arabian or the Rose Gray Arabian, the Few Spots Appaloosa, or we could go a little crazier because we've had interesting mounts in the past from Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer, as well as uh, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Case in point, they could uh, throw in the Unicorn, they could throw in one of the Four Horses of the Apocalypse as rewards that we could end up getting in future Outlaw Passes, including Outlaw Pass 6, which should hopefully be here by June 1st, 2021, along with a major awesome update that we discussed last week in my June 2021 Update Thoughts video. Shameless plug, feel free and check out that video if you didn't get a chance. Anyways, that's what I think needs to be in Outlaw Pass 6 to make it way better than Outlaw Pass 5, and up there, you know, at the same, uh, I guess, uh, tier with Outlaw Pass 1 and 2. Probably seen the top three between those three, right? I at least hope Outlaw Pass will be way, way better than Outlaw Pass 5 and almost as good as Outlaw Pass 1, 2. Maybe even better. We could always hope, right? Your thoughts, your views, your opinions, what all you would like to see included in Outlaw Pass 6. As always, welcome below in the comments section.